Yeah, sorry, no fish to report again. Uh, the weather's changed dramatically. I told what it was like yesterday and, and Wednesday. It's overcast, a little bit of blue skies every now and again. The wind, is, you probably can hear the wind, it's quite horrendous. It's completely changed. I've seen nothing rise atop top this morning, nothing at all. Uh, so I'm a bit lost really at the moment. I was uh, thinking before of moving again because this is uh, my third spring choice. But the lake's still quite busy. It's Friday. I'm only on for another. Um, I'll be packing up at seven in the morning tomorrow. But uh, we'll see how we get on. It's pretty horrendous the weather so <laughs> it's one of them in it I think well I'll keep battling out until the end but you know it's, it's never bloody easy never easy I didn't run out of PBL up but for while you're here these are the rigs I was using last night Pretty easy rigs really, I thought I'd give you a quick demonstration of it. I'm fishing the margins. Well, 10 yard out on a bit of a hardish spot, but it's still a bit silty and a bit weedy. So basically what I've gone for is a, a one ounce lead on a leg clip system, a bit of tubing. Basically a quick Quick change swivel with a quick change swivel underneath and a sleeve. And it's a knotless knot with a boilie. That's a pineapple one, that from mainline. Uh, the idea we're thinking, you know, people that have been catching the tench on this particular lake these past few days, because I've been doing a lot of walking round, they've all coming out on boilies and they're usually sweet boilies like pineapple and, uh, you know, sweetie. So I thought, well, I'm going to try it see what happens. But yesterday morning when I moved into the swim, this corner which I'll show you in detail later while I was fishing was completely absolutely riddled with tension. You could, every five minutes you see one pop out, turn over, you think oh yeah. And the guy that was in here before me said the same, he says in the mornings he said just around that area that's where they all are. I get seen yesterday afternoon thinking oh the best chance will be probably this morning, which is Friday morning. Uh, no, not not a sight, not nothing this morning. I seen one roll that was in that far corner, just over there, like on a pointish piece around this bay, just in front of me here. With the rods I'm using, I can't really get out to that. And if somebody comes into the next peg, well, it kills it straight away, doesn't it? So the idea was just to carry on with these margins if, if I can keep putting baits and see if I can get them back in. It's summer, you know, I mean, I'll be honest with you, this year's not been the best of years for tent fishing for me. You know, and this is Manor Lake, don't forget. This is a hard, hard lake. You know, I speak to lads who fished it for a lot, a lot of years and even them guys still struggle to catch fish. You, even though they know how, how it lives and breathes, you know, it, it's a tougher lake of the lot. Which I like that, you know, because the chances are, in manner, you got every chance of a double figure fish, tench especially. So, I think this is going to be my hardest lake I'll probably fish this year and next. I'm not going to give up with it, even though not the last three times I've fished it I've caught nothing but pike. I'll, uh, you know, I'm still going to carry on with it next year, probably try and get two, two sessions a month on here. As far as other lakes go on linear, I'll be back on Hardwick and Smith this winter for the bream. Maybe Brazenose too for the odd, the odd big vulture we can try and tease one out. And uh, I might try to do a bit of perch fishing on one or two of the lakes, see if there's any perch in any of them. So, there's got to be perch in some of them. I mean, the size of the fish that these fisheries have, perch and roach, they're going to be there, aren't they? You know, so we're going to have to have a bit of a test I think this winter. Well, I'll pop 
probably do more in the winter than I will in the summer because at work I'm quieter in the winter than I am in the summer. Just want my numbers to come in on the lottery tomorrow night and then I will be live streaming from the bank, never mind buddy, blogging. You know, it is a bit of a tough one. Well, like I say, that's the first rig I was using. Just to see if that caught me out. And the second rig, well, as you all know, I'll be like the helicopter rig. Same again, it was a case of it's kind of weedy and silty, so I put smallish lead on. Two boilies. Fish meal boilies, these ones are testing these out. These are the uh, CC, CC more Odyssey Triple X, what I've I spiced up myself. I had a PVA bag on the end, and I was hoping that I found a nice, I won't say a clear area, but it, it weren't weedy. I was it landing with a slight dong, and it was coming back easy. Where some of the places you can cast it, it's like stuck, you know, because of the weed. So that was the second rig. I'll, I'll show you depth later. If you look to your left, there's a bush just here. And we'll have one bug facing over there and the one's facing up to the side, which I'll, see, I'll show you depth later. And that's basically it. Yeah, that's very smelly, that's. They've only been out six hours. Smelling. So. We'll have to see, won't we? You know, I'm gonna try and get the ship all back in order. I'll get some more rigs tied. I'm thinking about going to a sweet corn rig this time. A pop up sweet corn rig. You know, just a couple of pieces of corn, quick, quickly balanced. Possibly even on this rig. I don't know if you can see that little bead there. That is a tungsten sinker, that from Nash. Now, I'll put one of them up, up the line because I'm letting the line sit down on top of the weed just a little bit and I'm hoping that's going to keep everything out of the fish's way probably better on silt, hard silt and, and gravel maybe but I just thought I'll put that on and see if it makes any difference there's a lot of floating weed as well in here plus the wind's blowing into this corner so it's all coming over here but I was hoping you know the tench might follow it in but no just my bloody look in it Gonna give up. I keep going. Just gonna make some rigs and nip and get some water because I've run out of water. I can't have a brew, which is a disaster. It's a bit of a shocker, really. So I'm gonna get these rigs tied, and I think before it gets too too shitty the weather, I might just quickly give you a demonstration on these on the places I'm fishing. These edges margins and see. I'll show you on cam and then you have an idea then it's either come down you'll you'll have a know won't you. So right do a couple of rigs speak to you all soon come on Tench please last last day, last 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 session let's have one of you please <laughs> never easy is it really anyway right speak soon guys sorry about the uh, the wind but this is the pig that I'm in uh, basically what you see is this is the tree you'll have to turn around there's the bivy and stuff so if you look at the swim from the left hand side there's a tree and I'm just literally casting just past the put about three rod lengths out it's, it's a hardish spot so I thought well, I'll put one there tonight, last night, and the second one is, see the branch, if you look past the branch, it was, uh, that's where the fish were, fish were topping, just over in that area there, and that's where they were all popping out early yesterday morning. Uh, so I'll put all the bait out there again later, same with this other side, and we'll see what we can do. Air fish before I go tonight. Be fine. But the thing is, I'm not that hopeful. 
I mean, as you can see the, by the wind you can see the way the, uh, the water's blowing and you can probably hear the wind a nice little swan there look we'll zoom into the swan bit of a pain in the arse really he keeps getting his head under my rods and belting under his head This is Manor Lake. It's a lovely lake if I'm honest. I do like fishing it, even though it's hard. You know. I do like it. I feel like an hard water, so I think this next year onwards this is gonna be my hard like hard water if you will. So there we have it, there's a swim. I'll uh, I'll get this bait out and then I'll uh, get my rods out. Hopefully bag one. Speak to you soon. Boys and girls, here we are. Last night, it's coming up to it's four o'clock. So I'm gonna leave it here basically. I'm gonna fish tonight. If I catch out, I'll put it on the cam. Get it on video for you. Uh, that's it really, basically just a a quick uh, bit of an update because I said this is a series I'm doing at Linear Fisheries. I was thinking before I make it a series just on manor. And I might still do that yet. I don't know. That's I'll work on that one. But as I said earlier, you know, me chance me chance of catching a big tench. I'm hoping when I get home tomorrow morning that Kim Kardashian's letting me bed. So that's probably me done. For this week. Uh I'll probably like I say I'll probably get more more blogs done in the winter for you for the bream and stuff and I'll still come down here but I just need for April to come along first of April or first of March whenever the tickets start I've got three new syndicates one's a certainty the one's ongoing uh, and practically the third one's a, practically a, a certainty really and they're all good fisheries you would have heard of them uh, the fisheries that I will go on to, they don't seem to blog on. I've asked if I can blog on them, so you can't blog on them. You know, you'll know all they are, but there's a lot of tension in these fisheries. There's also big rud, big roach, big bream. So I'm hoping next next season, next year, I can only hope for a better year because this one's been absolutely poor. Well, it's been piss poor, if I'm honest. You know, I've I've had a few bream, I've had no tench, I've had a load of eels, I've had a load of pike, I've had a few roach, good roach. And that's it really, I mean, fair enough, I'm at work a lot. So, uh, next year, 
I'll uh, stag on my holidays twice a month where I get four days or five days off at a time uh, I'll blog one of them holidays because I'll go to somewhere and I'll go somewhere else on the town I'm not blogging for me own personal fishing once I catch a fish there I will show you it uh, and that's it, I spot a bloody nose coming it's there bloody hell see you by Christmas I'll have to give it a name but uh, anyway that's me done like I said, catch out. I'll put it on here tonight thank you for watching sorry again there's no fish so I'll speak to you soon and have a good weekend